Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 15th of May and it's quarter past two in the afternoon and today is another barricade lamp video. As you can see I've acquired a bunch more, including another half a dozen or so on the floor. Actually a bit more than that, it's probably about two dozen on the floor. I'm not going to show you all of them because most of them are all the same lamp and I'll explain all that later in the video. Anyway, Apart from these two, all of the rest I got in a recent job lot I bought on eBay. Now, I'd already bought some lamps from this seller previously. In fact, I featured those in the last barricade lamp video that I think I did last week. Um, but it seems he just put all of the rest of his lamps together in a job lot and just threw them on eBay for 60 quid. And I was the only bidder. I was the only silly booger that bid. Some people might call me a silly bastard for bidding on them, but there was a number in there that I actually wanted, so I felt, why not? And I thought, anything I didn't want, I'd just get rid of again, you know? So, here we are. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to start. There's just so many here. There's a bunch on the floor. I'm going to start with one on the floor. I'm going to start with this one. This was one that I actually wanted that was in the job lot. He did have this one up um, as a separate auction, but I missed the end and then I noticed it in this job lot. So I pretty certainly had this one up separately at one point as well. This one is, I believe, Italian. It's got an Italian website and sticker and everything on it. So that's about the only information there is on this. It's a Petronio. Petronio. www.petronio-italy.com Scaffolding bracket on it, big battery box bolt. It's not bad lamp. Plastic feels a bit flimsy and cheap, but overall it doesn't feel too bad to be honest. It's got more of a lemon lens on it than an amber. Yeah, I'd call that lemon. So that's one of the lamps that I actually wanted. Uh, another cone light. I actually don't have many um, just ordinary cone lights like this one. Did have, then I got rid of a bunch of them. Now I've got another one. But uh, tested all of these work. By the way, I've tested them all. So nothing really special there. It is just a Dorman cone light. Unipart Dorman. Ah. I'm not sure that my other ones have the Unipart sticker on. I think mine are, uh, my other ones are earlier. I didn't realise that till now. Uh, oh. We have got... Is this the Ecolite? Can't see in the light out. Yep. Ecolite with a metal handle. My other Ecolites have the plastic string handle on. This one's actually got a metal handle. Because um, when I first saw this in the picture on eBay I thought yeah I've already got one of those probably won't keep it but I don't have <laughs> it's like a trapeze isn't it? A trapeze artist. Whee! Anyway yeah I will keep this one because I haven't got one with a plastic handle. I've actually got two with plastic handles so I'll probably uh, swap these around in the cupboard. Because a lot of the ones I want to trade, sell, get rid of, whatever, give away, I keep down in the shed downstairs. So I'll swap those around, I think. Um, another one from the floor. A little uh, micro light. Now I have got a few of these, so this one will end up on the, uh, you know, the trade pile or the to get rid of pile. Don't really know if anyone would want to trade something like that. I mean, it's not really that interesting, in my opinion. It's just, I don't know, I just don't find those ones as interesting. Um, we're nearly there with what's on the floor. An early mini light with the uh, Greenham sticker on. I don't think I've got any with the Greenham sticker. I'll have to double check, because if I have, then I'll probably put these ones up for trade or whatever. I think that's the Mark II without the dimples on. The Mark I's had a completely different lens, if memory serves correctly. Of course, if I've got that wrong, feel free to correct me. Now, there is another mini light. 
Um, yeah. In fact, I've got 11 mini lights in total, even though only two were pictured. So that was quite a surprise. When I was talking to the um, seller's friend who's on one of our, actually I think he's on all three of the uh, collector's groups I'm on on Facebook. And then he said, because he knew I collected, he just chucked the rest in. <laughs> so I was quite surprised and grateful for that in a way. Because I really do like these lights, but I've actually got too many of them now. So I've already sorted out some of the ones I want to keep. I might keep a couple more from here, but the rest will go up for um, trades. But one of the reasons I want to keep these because it's got Night Guard written on, which confused me at first, but I was told this was his friend's business. Um, so I don't know if he, like, uh, hired out such equipment or if he had a business that required working on the roads and whatnot, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. If I remember, I'll ask him later. Oh, I've stolen the bulb out of this one for something. I stole it from one of the... Oh, I stole it from one of these because there's two of these traffic lampies in here. So there's those ones. Uh, yeah, it's just the other traffic lamp E on the floor, which is quite a scruffy one. And the paint, as you can see, is peeling, uh... yeah, it's peeling quite badly. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to repaint it in another custom colour like I did with my blue one of these, the one I painted blue. Um, yeah, the blue one, I only painted it because it was, actually it was worse than this one. It virtually had no yellow paint left. Um, so I thought I could do the boring thing and respray it yellow, or I could just do a custom coloured one. Because to be honest, you can still get these um, quite easily on eBay and whatnot. It's not like it's a rare lamp. If they were rare, then I would restore them. But uh, I don't know. If I could re um, respray this yellow. I was actually thinking, as I've done a blue one, I could do a red one, just for the shits and giggles of it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stick that down there. Oh, there is one more on the floor, but I'll get to that late. I'm going to get through this um, job lot of stuff first. So, another one of these. This is not the strobe version. Now, I did wonder if the standard version of these blue ones were actually made by Dorman, or if someone's added the circuit themselves. But, I have seen a couple of these ones with the standard circuit in them um, pop up on eBay. So I'm not sure on that one. But either way, to me, it's another variation of it. So quite a few blue lamps this time. Four in total. Although I did put the blue lenses on the one that's on the floor. <laughs> Another red Nissan Monolite. I've already got one of these. I've got a number of these um, Nissan brackets as well. I think they're the Nissan ones or they could be the JSP ones. I can't remember. I do want to keep it, but as I've already got one, it wouldn't bother me trading one. So, besides, I've got a lot of room in my own closet at the minute. <laughs> Believe it or not, I put all those shelves up in that outside closet to store all my lamps. And I filled them. In fact, actually I would have one more shelf free if I got rid of all the flashlights and torches off of it. But other than that, it is chock full in there now. Just another standard Nissan Amber one. Not really one I really want to keep again because I've already got two of them, I think. I suppose I could find some roadworks and leave this there. <laughs> this doesn't even have a company um, embossed or anything on it. Some of them do. And again with another traffy lamp, traffy light. It's got some kind of business sticker on there but it's so worn I can't read it. You know, I've got a number of these now, various um, versions of it, so 
I can't remember if this is a steady burn or a flashing one now without putting a back thing. Let's put a back thing in it. And it is on, so. Ooh. I thought quite a slow flash on that one. Yeah, that is flashing. Around the wrong way. Screws are a little bit rusty now, I'm not sure they would undo. I might do with a bit of a WD 40 on them. But yeah, that's another one I wouldn't mind parting with. What we got? Another traffic lamp E. Looks just like all of my others with uh, one difference. It's got Wessex water. Um, plaque on there, it's actually plastic. And it's just uh, riveted on there. Active sticker's got a bit of wear on there, but it's, it's not in too bad a condition actually. Now, one of these was a flashing one, one of these was a steady burn. That other one was a steady burn. That's the flashing one, I've just remembered. Brand new, this actually still had the um, plastic cellophane bag over it. Uh, JSP Massi, Massi Light, Maxi Light rather, not a Massi Light. Um, LED version. I can't remember if my. I've got a few of these now and I can't remember what's what. I can't remember if I've actually got an LED one or not. I've got an LED one in amber. I've got one with a tilt switch in it and darker red lenses um, that's also LED and I think that's a lot older than this one yeah and I can actually see the circuit and the other one is actually different to this one in fact I can't see a circuit oh that's because there's, there's only two wires coming up through there my other one which is actually designed for the railways hence the tilt switch in um, not only does it have darker lenses you can see part of the circuit board at the bottom. But this one doesn't have the circuit board is actually in there. And it's got the button switch. Oops, sorry, the button switches. It's got the uh, option on... Well, I can't talk at the minute. It's got the option of steady burn or flashing as well as on off. I'll have to have a look through these because if I've already got one, then that'll be another one up for trade, sale, giveaway, whatever, I'm not fast. <laughs> and I think my third one of these, now I believe I gave one to a fellow collector when he visited me a few weeks ago. Uh, so I can't actually remember if this is my third or my second one now. Because <laughs> I can't remember how many I had before I um, gave one away. But I think this is my only one with the Greenham supplier sticker on. Greenham seem to have uh, supplied many different lamps over the years, along with like Parker and... Oh, I can't remember the other names now. There's so many um, suppliers' names over the years. Oh, George Pike. That's another one. But uh, yeah, that was the final one in that uh, job lot of, I don't actually know how many lamps to be honest. Because I was not expecting all of those mini lights, I was just expecting two, not eleven. <laughs> right, so this arrived this morning. It's not meant to have blue lenses on, it's a spare pair I had. Um, I have got the amber lenses. I bought this off a seller on eBay. Again, I've bought lamps from him before. In fact, I saw another collector who's also a friend of mine on Facebook do this with one of his lamps. And I thought, well, I've got spare lenses. And I actually quite like that idea. It's different. So and the lenses just screw on. So I can put the amber ones back on whenever I want. I do believe this is actually got a battery in it. Bad, to be honest. 
The only giveaway it's not meant to have blue lenses on it is the BT marking there, because that's for British Telecom. <laughs> um, my switch seems to have gone up. I've got to put a screwdriver in there at the end. I wonder if the um, screw thing has come loose and I've accidentally pushed the switch up. I have to pop that off later and have a look. Now, for a change, I did not get these off eBay. And I did not get these from a um, fellow collector either. These two are actually from Facebook and not Marketplace. Um, because of my interest in the emergency services, I've joined various, you know, ambulance, fire service and police groups. And I believe a company that sells surplus police equipment signs, vests, flashlights, etc. Um, put an advert of this up and they had quite a few of these. I could only see two of these. They had a number of these um, in strobe version and an amber one in strobe version. I'm thinking of actually um, messaging, messaging them again and seeing if I can pick up a couple of the amber strobe ones because I want one in amber I want to get another red version of these and put a strobe circuit in the red version as well <laughs> just because I have got a red version but it's got normal circuit in like this one um, all sorts they had the poli various police signs there lots of surplus stuff they were advertising so I've got both of these from there I could only see two of these though I think I was lucky enough to get this one um, yes, it's another Pilot Tildorn 360. I've got a blue one hanging up with a yellow body and the ordinary circuit in. This one, flashing warning, has got a strobe circuit in it when I first got it, but with a bit of jiggery pokery and some cleaning and got it working. So There's a little um, potentiometer potentiometer on that circuit. I'm going to give up soon. Take my tongue out and put a new one in I think. But anyway, yeah there's a little potentiometer on the circuit board and I'm presuming that changes the flash rate, the flash speed. Then we've got this one which I actually thought when I saw them in the photos that they were Nissan lamps but they're not. This looks very similar to a Nissan lamp. In fact most of it is the same to be honest. The way it clips on is part of the body. My Nissan is missing the bucket, so I've actually cheated with my Nissan and I've actually wired up one of these, which works it fine just for demonstration purposes. But this one is an ATE, Royce Thompson Electric Limited, Birmingham, England. And again, flash warning, you've just got this switch and all you do is... That was working. Don't you just love it when the... Uh, love it, rather. When things don't work when you want them to. Um, I had it working perfectly fine this morning. Um, apparently it couldn't have gone flat just from sitting there like that. Not that quick. Too quick. Yeah, there, there. there. Try resitting the um, or reseating this. Bit. Hello. That's calling lamp. Anyone in there? There's a life in it. The last lamp to show you as well. Anything leaking on there, have we? No. Yep, both the batteries are still charged, so... Why is we not working? There we go. Could have been a contact. 
there is a contact because as soon as I put that on there properly it stopped working. I'll just hold it like that for now. And it does work. It's got the static version as well. Just like, in fact, I've got an amber version like this. I don't know if it's made by the same company or if it's got the Nissan brand on it, no. But my other one's actually got fold-out metal legs. Oh, just like this one. I didn't realise that. So why is it this stops working as soon as I do that? Oh. Now it's going to stay working. <laughs> we call this one Christine because it's got a life of its own. But I like the switch. It's just literally just a flick switch. You know? And as soon as I do that, it stops working. Why? I don't get that. It's only when I clip it down. I might have to just clean up the connections and whatnot. Lent on it this way, tilted it this way, and it started working. Yeah, so it is just the fact that's tilt and dodgy connection, I saw. Yeah, right, I'll stop flashing that at you. <laughs> I don't know if my amber one's made by the same company. I thought it was a Nissan. I'm sure the other one was a Nissan. I have to dig that out of the cupboard now and just have a look. Fold out the feet. Stand on the road. No, it's not going to turn on now. Maybe it would be better balanced if I actually stuck all four batteries in because it is meant to take four. Well, it'll work on two as you've seen, but you'll double the um, run time if you put four in. So not cheap to run these because, you know, if you bought these separately from the store, these are like three quid each, even today. Um, then again, I suppose like the police, they would have bought, you know, a huge bulk, a lot of them. But, uh, I'd actually forgotten that you could get the blue bodied ones of these until um, I saw this. Telford. Shops England. Shops, I'm not sure what that's meant to be. It's got a big X on it. Does that X mean it's Zenon? The Zenon strobe? Yeah, my other one of these has got the yellow body and just a standard flashing circuit in it. It's not a strobe. Anyway, that's all I've got to show you in this video. I think my favourites probably are these two. Uh, yeah, I'll probably say those are my favourite two that I've picked up recently. So I need to find a home for them and a home for all of these now. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye.